Bride Rosemir Silva, 32, planned to surprise her groom Yudali Damaseno, 34, and 300 guests by flying to the ceremony in the countryside on the outskirts of Sao Paulo, Brazil, by helicopter. One of the main ideas was to make a spectacular entrance at the wedding. The beginning of the flight that day was filled with excitement and joy. Bride Rosemir Silva, along with her brother Silvano Nascimento, photographer Nela Nevis, and pilot Peterson Pinheiro, set off on an unforgettable journey. The flight started calmly and smoothly. The passengers enjoyed the view from above, observing the beautiful landscapes. The helicopter moved along the planned route, approaching its destination. Everyone on board was full of joyful anticipation and expectation, imagining how surprised and delighted the guests would be when they saw the spectacular appearance of the bride from the sky. After some time, thick fog appeared outside, which significantly worsened visibility and complicated navigation. In such conditions, controlling the rotorcraft became much more difficult, but the pilot remained confident. The couple had met three years before the fateful day, but they didn't start dating until 2015. A nurse's assistant, Rosemir, and a plumber, Yuterly, attended the same evangelical church but had never really spoken to each other. After a few glances at church and some flirting, the couple went on a date. At the time, Yuterly de Maceno was already married and the father of a little girl. About a year later, the newlyweds announced their engagement. After some time, they began planning their wedding. For the 32-year-old nurse's assistant, marrying the man she loved was a fairy tale dream come true. Rosemir had been planning her marriage for years and had already been saving up for one of the most important days of her life. Rosemir's wedding ceremony had to be just the way she imagined it. True, the girl had one dream, she wanted to appear at the wedding ceremony unexpectedly and, in her opinion, very beautifully. A couple of weeks before the wedding, the girl contacted a company that provided light commercial helicopter rental services. Of all the invited guests, only six people knew about the bride's plan, and her groom also did not suspect anything. The bride's dream, namely a 20-minute helicopter flight, was estimated at 1,800 Brazilian reals, which is approximately 400 US dollars. The wedding ceremony was scheduled for Sunday, December 4, 2016. The important day began early for the bride, at 7 a.m. She was already sitting in a beauty salon to take care of her hair and makeup. By 2 p.m., she was already dressed in a white wedding dress with a train, ready to walk up to the altar. But Rosemir, as planned, went to a neighboring town, from where the helicopter was supposed to take off. Just before boarding the helicopter, the bride decided to pose for a little. In addition to the bride and the party organizers, two other people who were accompanying her on the trip knew about the flight, the bride's older brother. 40-year-old Silvano Nascimento, who was supposed to take his sister to the altar, and the wedding photographer Nela Cristina Nevis who was six months pregnant, the Robinson 44 helicopter with four passengers on board, including the pilot, was supposed to take off at about 15.30 and arrive at the designated location. Meanwhile, at 15.30, the groom, Yuterli de Maceno, put on his tie and headed to the altar. He thought that his bride was already there, since the ceremony was supposed to take place in literally half an hour. Rosemir was already sitting happily in the helicopter ready to enter a new life. Her photographer was filming everything on the front camera. It was about 15.30, clear sunny weather. Brother and sister were holding each other's hands. The bride was happy, her older brother too, but Silvano Nascimento was afraid of flying and agreed to it only for his sister. Pilot Peterson Pinheiro confidently held the control column. However, on the route the weather began to deteriorate, fog and drizzle ahead. The bride's brother was a little nervous flying through the fog. The photographer decided to ask the pilot.
The bride's brother continued to be nervous. The weather conditions changed dramatically, and the helicopter was flying in conditions of limited visibility. The bride, Rosemere Silva, was not afraid of flying and was already waiting for the landing. Her brother was very nervous. But she continued to show composure and held her brother's hand. Photographer Nayla Cristina Nevis was full of optimism and trusted the experienced pilot. Meanwhile, the aircraft was already flying in conditions of complete limited visibility. The helicopter flies through heavy fog. At the wedding ceremony, a line of godparents was lining up. At that moment, the pastor approached the groom and announced that the bride would arrive by helicopter, but that she would be late due to bad weather. However, minutes passed. The bride's delay is traditional for a wedding. But the situation began to take on an alarming character and began to worry the owner of the farm where the ceremony was taking place. Half an hour later, the farm owner called the groom aside to talk and said that the helicopter had crashed, but he had no more information. Hearing this, Yudali Damaseno became very worried. He hoped that his beloved was okay, but a few minutes later, the farm owner again told the groom that no one had been saved at the scene of the incident. The groom and all the guests were in a state of shock. The incident occurred just two kilometers from the ceremony site. The incident became known only when it became clear that the helicopter had not landed on the nearby football field. The police and the investigation team were trying to establish the cause of the crash. The main theory is that the accident occurred due to clouds, rain and fog. In poor visibility, the helicopter flew too low, hit a tree with its tail and crashed into a forest near the highway. Eight fire trucks arrived at the scene, but all four people could not be saved. The National Civil Aviation Agency later confirmed that the helicopter had a permit to fly until February 1, 2017. The helicopter was designed to carry three passengers, not including the pilot. It did not have a permit for charter flights and its registration only allowed it to be used for personal purposes. The pilot, Peterson Pinheiro, was considered experienced, but it turned out that he made several serious errors while flying including losing spatial orientation and flying too low in poor visibility. Friends, if you are interested in the topic of the video, subscribe to the channel and like it. I look forward to your comments.